want to use Didi's Rix here. And okay, so this is kind of funny, but I actually okay. So when I got this set, I was at my grandma's house, right? So if I get a Lego set and I'm at my grandma's house, I will open it up over there and build it and everything. And then I'll just do like a video like this without actually opening it on camera. I do still have the box. I just, like what I do is I cut out the front of the box so I can like keep that so that I don't have to keep the whole box and it takes up a lot of room. But I didn't really like the set. I don't really like this Quinjet. I like the figures and I like like how they did some. What is on this thing? Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I wasn't a big fan of the Quinjet, and I still am not because we have had three Quinjets before. So this is our fourth Lego Quinjet, and we're getting a fifth one with the Lego Avengers Endgame sets coming out soon. Well, I wouldn't say soon, but oh yeah, soon. Um, I think sometime around March or something like that. I don't specifically remember. A bunch of stuff has been leaking, though. Um, no Spider-Man Far From Home figures have been leaked yet. That's what I'm really waiting for. But, um, I didn't really like the set, so I decided to make an alternative build of it over there at my grandma's house, like, instead. I already filmed that, and then after I did that, I made a second alternative build of this set, which I liked better than the original set and my first alternative build. I've already filmed those two videos. Now, for the third video of these, I'm filming the actual set review, which I find hilarious and kind of stupid and weird. But, that just, all the, like I said, that doing making alternative builds and everything shows you what you can make with LEGO sets, you know? And some people don't even think about that. They'll just be like, oh, you're just supposed to build the extra set, but no, you can make whatever you want. Most of the time. <laughs> so I'll start off with the figures. So technically, I have already seen these figures, but I'll I'll just go ahead and go with it. So let me scoot the camera up here and get this out of the frame. Okay. So starting off here, we got Captain Marvel. She's pretty cool. Um, she uses the same head as Han Solo's like girlfriend or whatever from the Solo movie from those sets. She so got this face, this face. But I noticed something on this face. This pupil over here is bigger than that one. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it to focus up this up. Yeah, look. This pupil is bigger than that one. And I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if I can. Yeah, let me turn on my flash. So right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like some gray dust right there. Um, apparently this head must have gotten dirty in the Lego factory because it's got some dust stained on it when they wrapped, like, the face on it. She's got these cool pieces that we have had in Spider-Man Homecoming with, like, web pieces and stuff. Uh, but you push on them, and then they shoot out of her hands, like, energy black. I just heard something. I don't know if you guys did. I've been watch I've been listening. I've been watching some scary story stuff. So I'm kind of paranoid right now. And I'm also home alone, so that doesn't help me at all. But anyways, so I like her torso a lot. That's really cool. And she's got some back printing as well. Um, other than that, that's really all I can say. Oh, and we do have the black widow hair piece in a new color. I think it's a new color. Yeah, it is. So she's a pretty cool figure. Then the other good guy we got is Nick Fury. This is the first Nick Fury figure we've ever gotten with hair and without the eye patch. So this is when, like, so he's got a, I forget what these are called, but, like, you can put the gun in him. That goes around to the back, and he's got, like, a tie right here. And I was actually debating on whether or not I should make a custom Mr. Negative figure for Spider-Man PS4 and use this body. But then I remembered, oh wait, these are here, so that just wouldn't really look too right. He does have another face. Oh, let me just take this off. So now here he looks angry, and then here he looks kind of happy. 
She looks calm on this face, on the other face she looks happy. And then he's got an unrealistic looking gun. <laughs> then we got Talos, which I don't really like this figure at all. Okay. Okay, let me take that with the gun. I like the torso and the back crane. I like the face. Not this. I mean, the piece is good, but dude, this piece has been used before. They obviously didn't care. They kept the hole in it. And he doesn't just have black legs. And he also has, like, that rope sort of cape thing coming down. They could have added something like that to the like, here, right, where, like, sort of like a felt thing, I guess. I don't know. They did a poor job with Talos, I think. And then he's got an extra stud for his gun. And then we got Goose. Which in the comics, his name is Chewie, so I don't know why Captain Marvel had to name them Goose. But, okay. So it's a pretty cute little cat. I've never had a Lego cat before, so this is actually really cute for me. And I actually have a prediction that Goose is going to claw Nick Fury's eye out. But anyways, off to off of the minifigures and onto the Quinjet. It's going to add a frame here. So the Quinjet is pretty cool, um, only because of one thing. If you push on these, it shoots out four missiles at a time. Never seen that in a Lego Marvel set before, where it like, shoots out four missiles at a time. That's pretty cool. Um, but, like I said, this is our fourth Quinjet, and probably the worst. I do like the color scheme, because it is an old-fashioned one, and obviously... In those days, you didn't have as good technology as they do in the movies now. But with this cockpit, you actually have to take it off. And you put Nick Fury in there, but I'm not going to do it right now. We got a sticker right there. Um, and then you put this back on. So that's kind of, I guess, sucky. These can bend, like on all the Quinjets. So that's fine. We got a couple stickers up here. It says no step. Stickers on the thing, on the window. Shield sticker here. Uh, sticker here, 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 and here. Any more than I'm missing? Okay, good. So in the back here, you open this up, and this space is literally only for goose. You can fit a figure in there, but it's pretty darn difficult. I find that kind of crappy. Then we do have the back engines, uh, which these do have, like, adjustable fins, and then one right here, um, and then, yeah, the missile mechanism. Yeah, that's, that's really all I can say about this. Um, I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of this set. I got the set because I thought I was going to like it, and I got it because it's the only Captain Marvel set, and Captain Marvel is... Bad ass. Okay. And I've been getting comments on my videos telling, of you guys telling me to not cuss. Dude, if I really enjoy something or I really like something or if I just want to curse, I will. And it's not like I'm super pissed off or anything. No. It's just sometimes you're so excited about something, you just have to let it out. And sometimes it'll also slip out. That didn't slip out. Like, she is a badass. I know you all know that. So yeah, like, if you want to make it look like the Quinja is part, just do that and then bend these back out and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, out of five stars, I give it a two. Okay, um, one for the uh, cool Captain Marvel and Nick Fury figures. I'm still not a big fan of Talos, and then one for the missile mechanism. Other than that, I don't really like this shit. But it does give you opportunities to build a lot of stuff out of this set. I have seen Brickers UK's alternative build. They did a um, shield base. I've seen another person do a shield base, but they're sucked compared to Brookers UK. Brookers UK is the best alternative builds I've ever seen. I did um, a boat, and I did a shield base of my own, but it's not really a base. Y you'll see what it is when it comes out. Um, oh, and another thing, this doesn't have any landing gear. That's bullcrap, okay? Like, you couldn't add on just some wheels or anything. I think the best Quinjet that we've gotten so far was the Age of Ultron one because of the dropping motorcycle mechanism. That was really cool. So yeah, again, not a big fan of the Quinjet. I give this set a 2 out of 5 stars. I do recommend it for you guys if you guys really like to collect Quinjets, but if not, don't get it. Don't get it. Just order the figs. Alright, anyways.
Peace out, guys, and uh, you'll be getting the alternative build videos after this. Bye for now.